Knowing how to draw models is super useful when you're trying to solve math problem sums. So in today's 5 minute simple idea, we are going to learn what a part whole model is and how to use it to solve a math problem sum that involves whole numbers. Are you ready? Hi everyone, I'm Ray, your friendly math mentor. Before we talk about the simple idea of a part whole model, Let's look at Bob the Caveman. It looks like he's facing some problems. Let's help him out. Tim had 9 hammers. He gave 5 hammers to his brother. And how many hammers had he left? I'm guessing that Bob the Caveman is probably picturing 9 hammers in his head since Tim has 9 hammers. And because he gave 5 hammers to his brother, Bob would probably put 5 of them in one group and the rest in another group. Okay, and those were actually the left over hammers. Now, what has this got to do with the part whole model? You've asked the right question. That is exactly what we are going to do now, to express the same idea using a part whole model. So, as the name suggests, a part whole model okay, consists of a part and a whole. The whole refers to everything that a person has. Okay, so in this case, it will be all the hammers that Tim had, which happens to be 9. Okay? And to draw the hole, we simply draw a rectangle bar of any length okay, to represent it. So that's pretty easy, right? Now, what's the part then? We get the parts by splitting the hole up. Okay? So since we know that Tim gave 5 hammers to his brother, okay, and he had some number of hammers left, what we can do is to split this rectangle into two parts. So one part that represents the five hammers and the other part that represents the leftover hammers. We put in the value if we know it and if we don't, it's alright. Okay, We just put a question mark to represent it. So far so good? So looking at the picture and the part whole model, can you see that both of them are actually showing the same idea? So some of you curious cats out there might be wondering, why do we want to draw a part whole model to solve a problem? Okay, that's because it's always easier for us when we draw boxes and labels to express the idea instead of drawing the pictures. This not only helps us to see the problem better, it also helps us save a lot of time. Whenever we use the part whole model, it's important to know that it always consists of the whole Okay, which is everything and then out of this everything the person will usually use one part of it to do something and another part of it to do something else and there are three simple relationships that we need to remember firstly for any part whole model in order to find the whole we can actually add up the two parts together that's pretty straightforward right so can any of you guess how do we go about finding one part of the model? That's right. All you need to do is to take everything, the whole, minus the second part of the model. And this gives you the first part. So similarly, in order to find the second part of the model, okay, we take the whole minus the first part of the model. Thank you for watching. And that's it for today. Okay? I hope that this video gave all of you a simple understanding of the part whole model. And if you like our video or want to see more of such video, do remember to subscribe to our channel or share this with your friend, okay? If you want to get better at P5 or PSRE Math Fast, you're welcome to join our Math Smarty Club at practical.sg. See you soon! Mm -hmm.